We're Raggy, and you're watching Heavy Consequence. Dig it. Hey everyone, it's Spencer from Heavy Consequence. I'm here with the fellas from Radkey. What's up? Hey, What's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? It's been good. Yeah, been good. Yeah, good. just uh, doing a lot of interviews, but I was able to get the, out there and see part of your set. You guys killed it. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What has it been like, uh, you know, starting out playing little clubs and now, all of a, you know, you're playing big uh, festivals like that, getting a crowd reaction like that? It's really crazy because it's it's all we ever wanted when we first started our band. Because obviously, you know, we were homeschooled. So when we were making our plan for this band, we we wanted to play, you know, the big stage, you know, big shows like this, big rock festivals. So yeah, it's it's incredible. You know, we got yeah. lucky in a lot of places in the early stages of the band, and you know, here we are. You know, cool. You got a new single, better than this. Totally. That just came out. Like, Tell me about that song, both musically and lyrically. That one's crazy for us because the production process was nuts like we spent a long time on it and then it had been a couple year process even just getting the basic melodies right so we really put a lot of time into this song and then uh yeah it's like real personal real like we're trying to go for like a comforting kind of nostalgic vibe we want to just make people think about like vhs tapes and stuff so that's kind of what we're going for that's cool <laughs> I, I dig that that's cool and uh I'm guessing that new song means that there might be a new album on the way. If one of you guys wants to talk. Uh, yeah, we have working on a new album. We've uh, recorded three songs of it already, so just kind of been going in and out so far. Yep. And what kind of direction are you going with the new the new music? Not not going like a new new direction, but making sure it's not the same as the last one, kind of. Yeah, stuff. we're making sure the textures are a little different. Pretty cool. You played some really cool shows over the years, playing with Foo Fighters, Jack White, uh, The Offspring. First of all, what kind of thrill is it for you to play with those bands? And then what do you learn from watching some of those bands play? Man, that was crazy, man, because we grew up. We grew up on Offspring, Foo Fighters, and like, you know, Jack White. Like, those are huge for us in the rock situation. So, like, to get their approval was really crazy for yeah. us. Like, that was, that was really cool. That was like a dream come true. Cool. And there's a lot of fun stuff happening in the punk scene right now, uh, the hardcore scene. You got bands like Turnstile, you got you guys. What can you say about the scene right now? I am really feeling great about like how rock music seems to be spreading to a much broader amount of people. Like people are starting to figure out like, oh man, I can get into a rock show. Like we're finally kind of getting into that realm again. And that's that's feeling really good. So yeah, that's that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. You know, like yeah. we're feeling real welcome, and, and and I feel like the scene is a lot more welcoming a as well. Cool. And uh, you mentioned obviously your your three brothers. You grew up. You were homeschooled. Uh, tell me about growing up. How you were exposed to uh, different music, and what are the, some of those bands that may have inspired you early on? Yeah, it, it's uh, you want. <laughs> So uh, we grew up listening to our dad's music collection. You know, he brought back School of Rock, and that had a lot of uh, of the stuff that we grew up listening to packaged in that one movie. And it just was a super inspiring movie. And I feel like that that really Im influenced us as yeah, well. Yeah, dad had all that yeah, music, like ACDC, Led Zeppelin, in the collection. So we were really able to dig into dad's collection and then start a band and had a real great example from Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs>